What's good with the Black Goose TV family, man? Y'all already know the vibe. Y'all already know the energy. Y'all already know what I'm feeling like. Y'all already know what I'm on, man. It's Monday. Obviously, I hate Mondays, but it's all good, man. I'm going to come at you with that feel-good vibe. I'm going to come at you with that feel-good energy to change this Monday up a little bit. And the reason why, you know what I'm saying, I do enjoy doing these joints. The reason why I really enjoy it, especially on a Monday, is because I can tell myself, oh, at the time I'm doing it, it means that the Monday is almost over. So that means the beginning of the week is almost gone. We're moving on and grooving on to the rest of the week. And that means the closer we are to this particular weekend. Y'all know this weekend we finally got a good boxing fight uh, to look forward to. And let me not say finally because that's disrespectful. Last weekend it was kind of slower on the boxing side of the game. But we still had some good fights. I enjoyed it. Y'all check out that Fluence Lounge with me and Zen. We went crazy. Uh, but this weekend we got Arthur Better Biv for Joseph Smith Jr. So you know niggas is going to be lit. Niggas going to be ready for it. So you already know the deal. Now, with all that being being said, man, you already know the vibes. You already know the energy. We got a reaction video coming to y'all. Most likely all of the videos tonight are going to be reaction videos because there's not too much news coming in the boxing side of the game. Obviously, I can do something where I speculate. I don't like speculating too much unless I'm going live. So for the most part, let's just do these reaction videos. Let's see what's popping off, man. We have a lot of videos to look at. And one of the first ones has to do with Jamal Charlo responding to Oscar De La Hoya. Before we get into it, man, please hit the like button below. Show some love by hitting that like button. You already know what it is, man. Get me in the algorithm. Get us in the algorithm. Get the Black Goose TV family known when it comes to the boxing community. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed to the channel, as always. And, of course, comment on this joint. Comment, 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 man, because that helps as well with the algorithm. Because I want to know you guys' opinion, especially if you disagree with me. And then um, notification gangs. So you know when I'm dropping content because you know I'm always dropping content. So, you know, you want to be the first ones to get there. Notification gang is the best way to do so. So. Uh, now, before I get specifically into this, I have not watched this reaction video, but I will tell you this. When I was loading everything up to be prepared to do this video, um, I did catch at least the first 10, 15, 20 seconds of it, whatever the case may be. Um, so I'm going to do a disclaimer. There is some very, very inappropriate language when it comes to the 2022 years. So, you know what I'm saying? If you if you like me, I'm, I'm a 90s baby. So I'm like, ain't nothing inappropriate. But, you know, nowadays, especially with YouTube community gu guidelines, uh, sensitivity, respectfulness, all that, all, all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, I don't got nothing to say. I don't got an opinion on that. You know, this is what not this is about. Uh, but there's some choice words using this particular video by Jamal, at least in the beginning that I heard. So anybody who may be offended by that, you might want to go ahead and cover your ears. You might want to go ahead and click away. But before you click away, go ahead and like the video because, you know, you're not liking the video for Jamal. You're liking it to, you know, support your boy. But uh, I just wanted to let you all know that just in the case, you know what I'm saying, you wasn't aware. But um, now that being said, that being put into position, you know what I'm saying, y'all know in the context of everything. Let me go ahead and tell you um, in the case you don't know, because I definitely dropped a video last week um reacting to the video where oscar de la hoya basically was calling jamal charlo scared um told him to grow some balls take the jaime mongia fight you know what i'm saying stop ducking stop running all these different things and you know jamal charlo was gonna respond back i remember at the time i was like man if that was jamel he was talking to nigga the clap back would be crazy you know what i'm saying I, i'm pretty sure if it was jamel the disclaimer that i'd have to put would be a lot worse than what i'm putting for jamal but um, you know, we, it's only expected at the end of the day, man, both Jamal and Jamel, man, they don't hold back their words when it comes to something they're passionate about. So I expected Jamal uh, to go ahead and respond to this. And that's what we're going to be reacting to. That's what we're going to be finding out what he had to say. And uh, let's get into this joint. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know the vibes. Y'all know the deal. Appreciate y'all. Y'all appreciate uh, everything y'all do for the channel, man. Keep supporting. Keep doing the thing. Uh, let's get into it. On the low side of the game. Uh, I said it. Nigga. Oh. Hopefully they keep my video up. Alright, alright. Chill out. Alright. Can you find me? You need five minutes. Tell Oscar De La Hoya kiss my ass. Fuck nigga. So you guys know this is not my uh, computer buffering or my video buffering. This is taken. It's the actual live that this video was uploaded to that's buffering. So if you guys can see the video is running clean. It just apparently whatever live that they took this off of and uploaded it. It was buffering during that time. It's very obvious, too, that Jamal Charlo is clearly intoxicated to a whole nother level. <laughs> yeah, stupid. They, they lucky I ain't got no good service. <laughs> he said they lucky I don't got no good service. He probably would have been wild and saying all types of wild shit. Yeah, 
It seemed like every time you finna say some disrespectful shit, the surface fuck up. Hold on, let me write my bad. I was talking. No, I'm good. Fuck the Wi-Fi. <laughs> he said, fuck the Wi-Fi. Yeah. You see? I want y'all to know, too, that's that good type of fluence. When you the type of fluence where you're not necessarily, like, going wild and turning up and you, like, yeah, hmm. You know, you kind of mumbling and halfway getting your words out. You know, that nigga feel great. Might be the painkillers, too. Smoke. That back injury. Nah, Charles Strait. Put these on. Uh, I'm gonna put these on. So he ain't. He definitely. He ain't really respond to it except in the very beginning. You can tell my guy Jamal is drunk. I'm gonna run it back one more time for y'all to watch straight through without me interrupting. Um, Yeah. So. This is uh, Jamal Charles' response to Oscar De La Hoya saying uh, to grow some balls and fight Jaime Munguia with bad words. Uh, Oscar De La Hoya. Nigga. Faggot. I know. I'm not. All right. All right. Chill out. All right. Can you find me? Can you find me? I wonder who he's talking to asking for five minutes. Is it dog or is it his woman? Tell Oscar De La Hoya, kiss my ass. There y'all go. <laughs> Fuck, nigga. How y'all feel about that? Told him to kiss his ass, called him the F word. You know what I'm saying? I can't say I can't say it on YouTube, even though he said it. I can't say it. Not that one. I can say nigga all I want, but that I can't say. <laughs> Yeah, stupid. So not much. Um, they, they lucky I ain't had no good service. Said so they lucky I ain't had no good service. No nigga, you lucky you ain't had no good service because you drunk as hell, brother. This makes me respect Jamel a little bit more because at least when Jamel is no, drunk, he still I'm talk crazy shit. He'll be like, nigga, be like, yeah, Jamal over here, like, yeah, mm, yeah, mm. you see. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm gonna stop it right there. They want to smoke. So that was uh, Jamal's uh, response to Oscar De La Hoya. Obviously, if it wasn't for him being who he is, and you know, boxing being what it is, and you know, YouTube channels and news being, you know, it's a, it's a slow week. All right, let's just say it at least. It's a slow week, and uh, this was honestly it was a bullshit ass response, bullshit bullshit ass clapback. Um, really wasn't worth me even reacting to, but you know, the Charlos are going to Charlo, right? And I don't like to group them together because they're two separate people. They definitely handle things very differently. I think Jamel would have handled this particular position or situation a lot differently than Jamal. I don't even see this as a clap back to Oscar De La Hoya, to be honest with you. I think just, he was drunk. He was on his live and he saw someone say it and he said that. But I think honestly, we probably would not have had a public response from jamal unless he was specifically asked about it that's my personal opinion that's the difference between him and jamal but um what do you guys think about this particular video man i know the reaction video it was short it was sweet it was to the point majority of it was me just talking my shit but you know when we actually got to the reaction video what do you guys think about it um how do y'all feel go ahead and drop it in the comments below do you think jamal charlo is really ducking Hami mungia do you really think he doesn't want the fight um, me personally, if you want my opinion, I don't think he's ducking them, but I think Jamal's and his team is probably saying the only way we're going to take this fight is if it makes the most sense for us, because at the end of the day, you would be giving Jaime Munguia a chance to basically elevate his career, while for Jamal Charlo, it really doesn't do anything. Whether he beats Jaime Munguia, it, it doesn't do nothing for his record or you know anything that we're going to say toward his legacy. Um, if he loses to him, but then it, it derails everything. So I kind of get how it's going um, and, and why the negotiations are this way. So I wouldn't say duck, but I think the promotional side of the game knows like this has to make 100 percent sense for us to make this fight. And if it doesn't where we're making the most revenue off of it, why should we make it? Because Jaime Mugia definitely doesn't deserve it in their mind. So that's my personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think about it. As always, man, drop it below in the comments. Like the video if you haven't liked, subscribe to the channel, show some love. And uh, on the honest sports side of the game, I'll be back. Maybe not with more weapons, but. Uh, definitely with more uh, motherfucking kind.